Hey Guardians, this is Coltrans from Necrotix Gaming. I am bringing you an awesome Warlock build today. It is using the Outbreak Perfected with the Disease Vector Masterwork on it. I am also going to be using that in combination with Necrotix Grips. Um, so you can imagine we're going to be going for Unraveling Rounds, we're going to be going for Nanite Swarms, and we're going to be going to go for the... Uh, poison from the grips and as you all know the warlock having those three melees with poison being able to put in unraveling and using our night swarms is pretty devastating against groups of ads or even bosses and champions so i had a good run through on several bits of content um just to make sure this build does work and tested it and tested it and it is an absolute banger so like i said this is this is my build coming up, and you can see here the Outbreak Disease Vector. If you haven't got it, um, run at the exotic mission, zero hour. Um, it is well worth it. Um, it's an awesome weapon all the way from D1, but this really is perfected. And you'll see in the footage, you'll see nanites, you'll see everything working the way it should do, and you all know that Strand Warlocks can absolutely hold their own. I mean, a lot of people are using Sailor, um, but for me, Strand is more fun, more risky, and um, it's just the way I like to play. So adding this Outbreak Perfected into it um, was an absolute must, and then thinking, okay, I don't want to use Thorn with my Necrotic Grips, and hence my channel being called Necrotics Gaming. It is one of my favorite exotics in the game. Um, I throw all three together and you have this Warlock build. I'm just going to call it the Necrotic Warlock because I absolutely love it. We'll go over the build in just a second so you can see what I'm using. And um, then you can give me um, all your feedback. Tell me what you think. And if you want a dim link for this build, let me know in the comments below. I always get back to you. And don't forget to like and subscribe because with the final shape coming up, there's going to be a hell of a lot of content, hell of a lot of builds, hell of a lot of weapon reviews that I'm going to be doing. Plus, I'm going to be hitting up those live streams and involving you. Also, don't forget to check out my memberships. Um, there's going to be limited perks for... Um, members and one of those is playing and doing build crafting tutorials with me so don't forget to check those out so now when we look at the build you can see as my warlock here with the one super but i'm using my healing rift strafe glide arcane needle and i'm also going to be using the shackle grenade um, this is going to be a real mixed um, build for abilities and things that you can do with it and the thing with the arcane needle and the cross scripts is I've got three needles to throw out to poison so obviously get my poison in there and when you're popping off I'm raveling rounds and you're popping off the uh, nanites um, you're going to be putting out maximum damage I'm using the mind spun evocation here um, and I'm using that for suspending detonations with the Weaver's Trance. And then I'm using the Wanderer, throwing the tangles, suspending bursts, and also destroying a tangle. You're going to get the um, suspending burst as well. So Thread of Isolation, um, more Severing. So we're going to be getting the Severing Bursts from that. And we're going to be in Thread of Fury, damaging a tangle, um, grants melee energy, Thread of Generation, Dealing damage generates grenade energy, then Thread of Mind defeating suspended targets grants class ability energy. So you're going to be stacking up on all your abilities, grenades, melees, super quickly. And finally, the Necrotic Grips, my favorite exotic in-game. All I have to say about those is melee, poison, melee, poison, melee, poison. Enjoy the rest of the footage in this video. Leave any comments in the... Uh, section below and if you want to dim just hit me up for it i always respond until the next video i will see you later